Nunalik, meaning community, is concerned by the way in which current functions in the village, such as the arena, school, and the co-op, can be externalized and enrich the public space. By these three significant poles in the village, we aim to promote learning through the school, expression through the arena and the cultural center, and creation through the co-op. As you now know, the project's mission is to promote Inuit cultural practices through the establishment of a built framework supporting the identity of the Kanjik Swalu Jemnips. At the community level, this translates into work on the existing buildings that host all kinds of community activities. The diagram illustrates the main buildings included in the project and the roads that connect them. The objectives were to enlarge the buildings by small pavilion additions, to create public squares allowing the externalization of activities, and to connect these poles by the existing streets revitalized with street furniture and art made by local artists. As seen in the previous parts, the interventions still being developed in three steps as dictated by the objectives. In red, creating annexes and extensions to the community buildings, in orange, to create and develop public shared spaces, in blue, officializing the informal paths created by the movement of residents, whether on foot or by car, or by four-wheelers in the summer and by skidoos in the winter. By the following drawings, we will detail the triptych created by the three poles of creation, expression, and learning. The first pole, taking root with the arena, the community center, the new intergenerational center, and the northern store, is created to promote the expression of the community. Hence, you can see the proposed intervention by Aju Tabik Street. The intentions, once again summarized following the three objectives, are translated into perspective. See for yourself the pavilion extensions the formalization of trails, and the exteriorization of activities in new public areas. The second axonometric drawing shows the proposal for the creativity pole around the co-op. But now, take a quick look how it's transferred into perspective view from Kourourdjouak Street. Once again, the goals were to create annexes, share public spaces, and the officialization of paths linked to the landscape. The last pole of the triptych is the one linking the youths to the community to encourage learning through the intergenerational transmission of knowledge. On Akulik Street, the intentions for the three objectives are as well staged before turning into a realistic project. Connected by anchored path and externalization of the learning activities, by shared exterior places and pavilion extensions. We have now arrived at the conclusion of our urban design project that aimed to support the imagination of the Kanjik Swayu Jamluk people so as to enrich the discussions and actions undertaken in terms of design in the community. We sincerely hope our proposal will contribute to the rich and relevant development of Kanjik Swayu community.